When I asked to do a show in this very particular uh, Palazzo, Palazzo Grazzi, which is, of course, in Venice, the idea was to make a different idea about monumentality. The idea of making a very site-specific work, which will be the first work you see when you come in. It's an enlargement, actually, but in the form of a mosaic of a painting of 1986, which is not in the show, Schwarzheide, which is a painting which is about detainees in a working camp in Schwarzheide that made these drawings and just ripped up the drawings and dispersed them under the other inmates at the fright of being discovered. After the war, they will, these things were reassembled, these bits and parts, and they were incomplete. What I took with me, because the camp was no longer there, was actually the pine trees and the lines actually symbolize what I just say. The interesting part is that the mosaic has a sort of monumentality and it also at the same time has the idea that it's been there forever. The color match also with the floor and the marble was really, really on purpose. Once you go up the stairs, you see a small painting which is called Secrets. It used to be actually the idea or the attempt to make a painting, a portrait of Albert Speer, which then later actually turned out to be much more a mannequin head and not a real face, but with closed eyes. So we're inside this idea of something large, large, which is on the floor, and something that goes up the stairs and already sets the tone of the entire show. The show is not about the idea of exemplifying, but the show about the idea of understatement, in a sense. The show has been made tailor-made. We've been working with Caroline on it for two years, making the choice of the show, which is also not a retrospective. It's a very site-specific uh, idea that we made for all these spaces and all the signifiers that you can sort of entice in every of those spaces. On the other hand, it's also in a sense, when it is a retrospective, it goes more like in an introspective way. Because there are bits and pieces through my experience of doing other shows in other places that sort of are combined and come together in this show. There's a lot of space between the works so that people will be forced to see, not in abundance, but very targeted. And I think that is actually going to be the, the most interesting point of this show. And that's also why the show has a title, which is called La Pelle. And La Pelle will, will, is, of course, also reminiscence in the back of the head to the famous book of Malaparte, but much more in this sense, not to be taken literally, but much more something that is under the skin, in a sense. Because, of course, painting and the canvas have a skin, and in that sense it's about the pictorial experience. There are no wall texts, there is a reader, so the people have the, 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 the possibility to either read what the work is about when they go to the show or don't. That is actually, and if they don't, it's also good. I mean, it's the choice they have because I uh, have a big conviction that one should not over, but also not underestimate the public by being overly didactic. So it is fairly a very pictorial experience. Therefore, also the choice not to show drawings, source materials, films, all those things. Uh, because also, I think this building lends itself uh, nearly unanimously to show painting, in a sense, because of the light and because of the way the whole structure of the building is conceived. In terms of a meaning, some of the, the contents, some of the signifiers are far bigger than what you could estimate. And at the same time, there would be the danger that they could be appealing and beautiful. But that is the ultimate perversity in a city, which is actually a city of decay. And therefore, I think, yet again, a supplementary statement.